grade eights. I'm just going to go through this map of the main floor of Austin. So if you watch the video from Mr. Holmes, he started here at the front entrance. He walked into the front and turned left to the main office. The main office really uh, is where the principal is. Uh, other than that, you won't go to the main office too often. He came back in from the front and turned right to the attendance office. The attendance office is where you would go if you came to school late or had to leave early, you check into the attendance office. Or if you go to one of your classes in the daytime late, the teacher will send you down to the attendance office to get a late slip. You will bring that back to class. If you get a few late slips, then you are going to be talking to the vice principal. Their offices are also in the attendance office. This is also where you would go if you get sent down for a uniform slip. If you get a uniform slip, you'll carry that with you all day to show teachers when they stop you. And if you get a few uniform slips, then you also have a chat with the vice principals. So then Mr. Holmes came in from the start again and turned to the left. Here you'll find the uh, chaplain's office right here. It's a small door and always open. That would be Mrs. Yusuf. And the guidance offices. So you would enter in, make an appointment with the secretary, Mrs. Sirazadi, and uh, she will give you a little slip with the time. You would give that to your teacher and come down and meet with your guidance counselor. All of their offices are in guidance, including mine. Then if you continue on down this hall and take a left, this is where the CWS classes are. So that's Canada World Studies. Your geography class will likely be down here, maybe uh, history in grade 10, law, civics, that type of thing as you move through at high school. Along here are all of the gyms. You have an entrance way to A, B, and C. On this simplified map, I've just written change rooms, but when you're in Austin, you will see that there are various change rooms and they are well marked. There's also offices here and that kind of thing. If you continue along down this hallway, you will come to the math wing where your math class will likely be located. The WR here stands for the weight room. The entrance to that is in Gym C hallway. If you come back to the main office again, you will see here that there are lockers. I didn't include those in the map because it made it look busy. There are bathrooms here. If you go straight, you will meet up with the chapel. The doors are always open. And just a little to the left, the learning commons. Back to the start again, if you were to turn right past the attendance office, you would find Laplace. That's where all the exciting things happen throughout the school year. And the cafetorium, which is the cafeteria and the auditorium combined. If you were to travel along, you'd find the program support room. You might go to the program support room if you needed a quiet place to work or you had to write a test that maybe you missed in class. So that's room 119. Down this hallway, you will see the auto classes, the tech classes, and the arts classes are kind of located right here. There's bathrooms again. And then the fine arts hallway would have your instrumental band and vocal and the drama rooms. These here are the stairwells. They're up and down in the front of the school. And then there are stairwells up and down beside the chapel. The second floor grade eights is very simple. It is just a rectangle that's open so it looks down into the center of the school and the classrooms are well marked and on the perimeter of this rectangle. So really upstairs you can't get lost. Your French immersion classes are right above the learning commons, science right above the guidance area, there's computer classes and a religion wing upstairs. And grade eights, that's about it. Austin is very simple to navigate.